All right, welcome back, guys. I am David Sarson from Our Lads Scouting. I have for you the week three Our Lads All Rookie Team. I am going to start off on the offensive side of the ball, and we are going to start off at quarterback Jaden Daniels from the Washington Commanders, the number two overall pick, but the number one quarterback from the Our Lads staff last spring. At running back, we have a fourth round running back from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bucky Irving, who has earned a much bigger role in that Tampa Bay Bucks offense, according to head coach Todd Bowles. At wide receiver, we have Malik Neighbors from the New York Giants, also taken in round one, the first wide receiver in NFL history as a rookie to end his first three weeks in the league with 20 plus catches, 250 plus yards, and three touchdowns. At tight end, it was a quiet week but we have Brock Bowers from the Las Vegas Raiders, also a first round pick. We're starting to see some of that yard after catch ability that made him a go-to number one unanimous tight end from the tight end class last year from our our lad staff. At offensive tackle, we have J.C. Latham, who was still transitioning, I would say, from right tackle to left tackle. He was the lone bright spot on the Titans offense and more specifically the horrid offensive line play uh, up front with just a 2.3% pre- uh, percent pressure rate uh, in pass protection this past week. And at the interior offensive line, Zach Frazier from the Pittsburgh Steelers, who looks like he already might be one of the best centers in the game. It's a little premature to say such a strong statement about that, but the the All-American wrestler is coming out on uh, in him on the field at the uh, at the next level, playing at a very high level right now for the 3-0 and Pittsburgh Steelers. But let's put a little bit more attention on the R Lads Offensive Rookie of the Week from Week 3, and that is Jaden Daniels. Uh, the top-ranked quarterback on the R Lads stack last April was the second quarterback taken in the draft. Daniels, who began his career at Arizona State throwing touchdowns to Brandon Ayuk, spent five years in college starting 55 games and dropped back to pass 1,844 times. Just for reference, guys, First round pick Anthony Richardson started 12 games in college and dropped back to pass 455 times, less than a quarter of the amount. That kind of experience that Daniels entered the league with, his constant progression and ascent to superstar status after leveling up to the SEC were a few of the key reasons why we like Daniels more than everyone after the evaluation process. Here is a snippet from my closing remarks on his scattering report found in the R Lads draft guide. Quote, he is a true dual threat that knows how and when to enhance both the passing and running games. He will end up a dangerous big play machine at the next level. And lastly, he creates explosive plays while maintaining efficiency both on the ground and in the air. Well, guys. History was made on Monday night in Cincinnati against a Bengals team fighting for its life. Just days after Bengals corner, Cam Taylor Britt called the commanders a college offense. Daniels set a new NFL record with a 91% completion percentage. That is the best we've ever seen from a rookie in the NFL. He threw for 254 yards on just 23 attempts, including two touchdowns, while adding another score on the ground. Yes, everyone, Jaden Daniels scored more touchdowns than he threw incomplete passes. The 11 yards per attempt was the best in the NFL among passers with over 15 attempts, and his 141.7 passer rating was second best league-wide. If you guys want to see the rest of the R Lads all-rookie offensive team and a little bit of the write-up information on those guys I listed before, head over to the website and check out the article. Now we move on to the defensive side of the ball for the week three, our lads, all rookie team. We are going to start off at edge defender, Layatu Latu from the Indianapolis Colts chosen in the first round, the first defensive player taken in last year's draft at defensive tackle. We have Braden Fisk who had seven pressures for the Rams and their upset win over the Niners. Uh, one of the biggest upsets of the week at Linebacker Tyrese Knight making his first career start for the injured Jerome Baker in Seattle. Uh, this was also a fourth round pick. I wanted to make sure I get that right. At cornerback, we have the second time Quinion Mitchell, first rounder from the Philadelphia Eagles, has made the squad. A player that has already noticeably improved in his coverage assignments uh, with, with that Philadelphia Eagles defense and their big win at New Orleans, uh, one of the hottest teams after two weeks. And with that injury riddled, 
Rams defense and very young defense. Cameron Kitchens earned the all uh, rookie team at safety, uh, a third round pick from uh, from Miami. He did allow a touchdown, but he did finish with six tackles and zero missed tackles on just 29 snaps. But we're going to spend a little bit more time on the defensive rookie of the week, and that is Layatu Latu from the Indianapolis Colts. Like I said earlier, Latu was the first defensive player taken in the 2024 NFL draft. And not so coincidentally, Latu was the highest grade I gave out to a front seven defender in the class. What was interesting, however, was the fact that he went 15th overall. That was the latest we've ever seen a first round defender come off the board in NFL draft history. It was not the first time Latu may have been way too overlooked. He was nearly forced into medical retirement after beginning his career at Washington following a neck injury suffered in practice. He broke out in 2022, finishing just a few pressures away from Will Anderson, an eventual number three overall pick last year. He then went on to repeat that performance in 2023, finishing first in the power five in sacks and third in pressures. On a day where the Colts' defense was on the field for a grueling 90 plays, starter Quiddy Pay's afternoon was cut short with a quad injury. It was the perfect week for Latu to step up. After a quiet first two weeks in which he accrued just one pressure on 28 pass snaps, Latu pressured Caleb Williams five times on just 29 pass rush snaps in week three, including his first career sack and a forced fumble that the Colts did recover in a one-score victory, the, terms, the team's first of the season. One of the biggest plays of the game, Latu beat tight end Cole Komet by getting under his outside shoulder and flattening the end with a blend of lower body strength, bend, and technique, just like what we saw for two straight seasons at UCLA. So that does it for the defensive side of the ball for the R Lads All Rookie Team Week 3. If you want to read more about the names I listed up before, head over to the website, check out the full roster offense and defense, and let us know your thoughts. We'll see you guys next week. 